Welcome, shall we observe the sun? Twilight. Starting off today, with this solar flare, classification chart showing the last 24 hours of solar flare activity. And as you can see there have been multiple M-class flares, plus 1x 1.1 class flare that occurred yesterday at 3.50 coordinated universal time. In the last 6 hours, there's been 4 M-class flares, the strongest being A, M1.23 thus far. We'll take a look at the 24 hours of solar flares, observed on this SDO131 filter. Just here, at sunspot region 3217, some coronal matter is ejected from the sun. On the SDO filter 304, all the filament can be seen all over the surface of the sun. Filaments can detach from the sun and be launched into space sometimes. Solar flares don't cause heat waves, but they do have other impacts on Earth. Consequences include pretty auroras, as well as hazards. They can rain extra radiation on satellites, and increase the drag on satellites in low Earth orbit. Increased electromagnetic activity due to solar storms can also disrupt power grids and radio communications. Now solar eruptions of the last 24 hours, observed on the SOHO C2 and C3 filters. Notice on the left, you see Saturn as it makes its far side orbit of the Sun. And as always, sit back, relax, and let me keep my eye on the sun for you. Yeah.